Hey, real estate family. So what's going on with the Lancaster County housing market and actually nationwide? We're hearing a lot of talk about recession. We're seeing headlines that talk about the great housing deceleration, cooling of the housing market. So what actually is going on? We're going to take a look at a couple different things. Right now, first of all, recession. That's on everybody's mind. So does recession equal a housing market crash? Not usually. So we've had six recessions over the last 40 years. Four of those recessions, home prices have appreciated. Two of those recessions, they decreased. One was only 2%. The other one was that great crash in 2008, which was about 20%. So now housing, historically, home ownership has been a safeguard against inflation. Are we going to see, though, home prices drop with this housing, quote, deceleration, housing market slowing down a little bit? Are we expecting home prices to crash? People are saying, should I wait? Is the, are the, is the market just going to drop out? Is the bottom going to drop out? According to experts, no, we're expecting to see 9% year over year home value appreciation this year. And over the next four years, three to 4% appreciation. So home prices are still going up. National Association of Realtors is expecting this year to be the second highest selling year. And we're seeing this, these prices and this demand because buyers are still looking and we still have this housing shortage. So it's putting pressure on prices and we're seeing prices to continue. Now, we are seeing more listings, but just to kind of put this in perspective, Realtor.com said listings have been up for the first time since June of 2019, but we're still only at about half the amount of listings as usual. So we're still really, really low with that housing inventory. And that is what is causing the price acceleration to continue. Yes, it is slowing down. Thank God, because last year was about 18%. We do need to see that slow down, but we're still seeing acceleration. We do not expect the bottom to drop out of the numbers. So back to the listing. Listings are up. We're seeing that, uh, let me look here, nationally, 326,000 in January has increased to 541,000 in May. And then in Lancaster County, our units increased from 364 in January up to 613 units in May. So a nice increase in listings, which is typical this time of year, May, June, we see usually a lot more listings hit the market, which is great. We also see that showing demand is up. People are looking at housing. So when we look at this graph, we see that showing demand may be down a slight amount from the last two years, which I call the frenzy. Uh, but it's still higher than pre-pandemic levels. And that's what everyone's seeing is that 2019 was considered a very good real estate year. And we're still higher than what we had for home sales and showings than we did in 2019. We're just not in that frenzy that we had coming out of 2020 into 2021. So I think what we're seeing is maybe a little bit of a normalizing of the market, but we're still seeing a huge demand. Is it a good time to buy and to sell? Well, let's take a look at houses right now. So if a house is in a really good location, it's a great home, it's moving ready, we are still having a lot of competition, um, over list price, multiple offers, et cetera. It's the homes now that are like, they need, they need work, they need repairs, they're kind of sitting on the market. I think what's happening is that Buyers know they have to put out a lot of money to purchase a home. So they do not want to have to have a lot of projects. They want things done. They want that move-in ready house. So if you are thinking of selling in the next couple of months, I would encourage you to get your house ready. Um, any projects you have, you want to do some painting or whatever, just get your house in the best shape you can because you want to create as much competition as possible. That's always where you make the most money. What about buying? Yes, I know buying power is down. According to Realtor.com, Buyers are paying about 50% more for a home that they would have a year ago. So yes, that is a big shift in buying power. But I'm just going to remind you that back in the 80s, when we had interest rates in the double digits, 10, 12, 14%, people still bought homes and their homes still appreciated. They still gained equity and they still gained value and they still made money on their home. So yes, homeownership is a safeguard against inflation. It's a good time to buy. It's a good time to sell. And if you have questions about this market specifically, please reach out. I'm always happy to help. Please take Instagram, Instagram Real Estate Group and Keller Williams Elite.